I'd say what sets St. Benedict's apart from some of the other schools in the area is that uh, I feel connected to the teachers and the administration. Um, I know them, can pick up the phone and call or text them if the need arises. And I don't know that that level of access is always true. I went to a school very similar to St. Benedict's a thousand years ago when I was a child and it reminds me of the same thing. It was the small neighborhood Catholic school. And so I felt very comfortable having Haley here and knowing that that same level of community and engagement was part of St. Benedict's is what really, I think, sets it apart, as well as it's a great academic school so you're not sacrificing one for the other. It's the total package. I was in the yearbook. I did Girls on the Run for two years. I was in the Beta Club the past year while I was in eighth grade, and I was also on the honor roll. I've been taking Spanish the whole time while I was at St. Benedict's, and now when I go into high school, I'll be taking Spanish too. They prepared her pretty well for the next level, I think. Um, in looking at where she is placed in ninth grade. She's in the advanced Spanish class, honor Spanish class, and she was able to leverage her training in algebra here to go straight into geometry instead of algebra two the next year. So I think she feels pretty good about her capabilities going forward in the next year. It's a community. It's the teachers are always helpful. They're always there to help you and the students and you can make friends very easily there since it's such a small community. My favorite moment at St. Benedict's with Haley is definitely her eighth grade chapel talk. Uh, the chapel talks give the eighth graders an opportunity to, on their platform, all by themselves, standing up at the podium to tell their story about what was important for them at St. Benedict's. And it was fantastic to see Haley as one of the first group of kids to go, um, you know, take that challenge on and be one of the first to step up there and tell her story all by herself. My most favorite memory was when we went on the eighth grade DC trip in May. It was very fun. I got to hang out with my friends. We got to go in the hotel room. We got to visit all of the museums and it was just a very fun trip. You can come in and roll up your sleeves and be as involved as you'd like to be as a parent, as a, uh, I forget the term is, but like a helper parent. Parent is Room parent. Room, room parent, parent yeah. yeah. Room parent. Uh, you can go on field trips, you can be chaperones, you can do all kinds of things like that. Or you could sit back and, you know, do less if you wanted to. But at the same time, uh, you know, you feel like your kids have a good quality education. You feel like um, the values that they instill in your kids here are, are going to be things that stand the test of time and are you know lifelong lessons that you can take with you going forward to the next level. I would definitely recommend St. Benedict's to any parent that asked. I would share with them the good and the bad. Um, and the bad isn't really bad, it's just different. So I would say St. Benedict's is great at managing the needs of the students. And when you have a student who maybe isn't doing as great, they are there to help them or if they have special um, accommodations that they need. That's also taken into consideration. And if you have a child who's excelling in an area, I've seen that they will accommodate as well to challenge your child to make sure that you know they are growing academically, which is of course what school is all about. But St. Benedict's also checks many of the other boxes that are important to us for a school environment for our kids. Um, there's great community, which we've said many times. The teachers really do care. Um, they, you know, love on the kids, which is what you want to see. Um, but they also, you know, are stern when they need to be, which is important as well. Um, the administration similarly has a great, strong vision for the school. Um, having been here for 13 years, we've had the opportunity of seeing the school start really small and grow. And it's been exciting to see that um, trajectory for St. Benedict's and we're excited to see um, what happens next.